I'm like, it's ridiculous, but I'm so excited about teaching English literature, um, English poetry, um, history, especially when it relates to current events, because you can always relate those to things that, um, that, that are happening in the world right now and allowing students to grow and to come up with their own conclusions on things, to come up with their own, um, you know, uh, suggestions on how we can deal with things that we have today based on what they've learned now in Australian English. It's, it's so exciting. I think just seeing that initiative grow and grow its own from the students, I think that's what excites me the most. My name is Wandi Lenzuza. I will be teaching grade 8s, 9s and 11s at Bishops, um, Diocesan College here in Cape Town, and I'll be teaching English and History. Definitely something I'd like to instill in my learners is a passion not just for the subjects, not just for you know getting the test marked and all those things, but for life in general. And I think history and English are those subjects. You know, you want to you want to think about um, you know Chaucer, you want to be thinking about Shakespeare and William Wordsworth, and you know, I wondered learning as a clown. You be passionate about the things that you do and even if you're not passionate about it, give as much effort into it. I think it makes you a better person. Um, so for me, teaching isn't just um, isn't just about you know getting the marks right, and it's about empowering people. And for me, empowerment is linked to confidence and passion. And to be you know uh, confident and passionate, you need to know, you know and own all those things. Know what you know, what you know what you don't know, and be very active about it. Where most people fall short is the lack of, of empowerment, um, the lack of the feeling that they're empowered, that they have their agency and self-efficacy to to change the environment around them. So that's the first reason why I've joined. I mean, and this, this cuts across many social barriers, um, race, class, gender, sexuality. Many people think, oh, because I'm like this, you know, because I'm insert, I can't insert, you know, or I can insert and or leave it to him to or her, them to, to insert. In 2022, it's about preparing, understanding the world we're in, where we've come from. Um, if I can bore you quickly, I don't necessarily believe in the term history, but rather genealogy. And, how did we get to where we are today? And in 2022, it's important to know what factors led us to where we are now and what we can do to alter things going forward. And that's, uh, I think that's what excites me most about teaching in 2022.